A very good afternoon to you, David. Well, first of all, could you give us a background of the financial markets in Mozambique, particularly the banking sector? For sure. Good, good day, Mashudi. Yeah. Thank you very much for, for having me on the line. I'll just give you a quick background in terms of the financial markets per se, um, which include a, a, a fairly active banking sector in the first instance. Um, in the second instance, we have... Um, <coughs> In the second instance, we, ha we have a small, small stock exchange which handles, for the meantime, um, equity issues as, as well as some bond issues, um, being both government bond and, and, and commercial issues. So in, in terms of the, the banking sector um, in Mozambique per se, um, it's a fairly broad banking sector. We're looking at uh, 28 um, banks or, or microfinancial institutions which, um, which serve the the around or just over 10 percent, 10 to 10 to 15 percent of of the formerly banked population of Mozambique, out of a total population of around 23 million people. Um, I would say, in terms of those uh, those 28 banks, um, relevant for for my purposes as a commercial bank, I'd say just over 10 of them are are, are real players um, at this point in time from a, a both um, a retail banking market or um, uh, and commercial uh, corporate banking market as well as in, in the treasury per se. Mm -hmm. Now Mozambique is known to have uh, only 18 retail banks uh, currently and uh, could you kindly talk us through the competition la uh, landscape at this stage uh, for banks like yourselves? Okay fine for sure. I mean Bar Barclays in Mozambique is not the biggest bank in Mozambique but we, we are arguably the, the only global bank in Mozambique which does definitely give us some, some competitive, marches, um, competitive advantages in terms of our global reach of, of the, the broader Bar Barclays franchise. We do have um, two of the biggest players in, in, in Mozambique being, um, being really closely linked to the European market in terms of Portugal. Um, with, with operations in, in, in Mozambique and Angola, to mention a few. And, um, then we have other African banks, um, which, which have a fairly broad network. And I'm not going to mention those banks for obvious <laughs> reasons, uh, which have a fairly broad network ac across the Af Africa, Africa landscape. Um, very similar to, to the Barclays, um, Barclays uh, franchise across, across Africa, which is a place strategically across a lot of the growth areas in Africa, including, as you said, um, Mozambique, where we've mm -hmm. seen a uh, fairly, fairly good growth as a, re as a result of, of mega projects, um, infrastructural investment, and just investment in a, in a stable, um, arguably sta stable political environment and, and sta stable macroeconomic landscape. So looking at the growth in the banking sector, so there's still room for growth then, but what about the ease of doing business within the banking sector? Is it friendly enough for new entrants to come in? Okay, from, from, from the, the perspective of myself, I'd say no, no more room for growth in terms of new entrants into the market, please. Um, it, it is a challenging environment. There's a, there's a, a fairly active pool of, of, of corporates, um, as, you, as, you can, as you can imagine, corporates who are, who are growing, uh, servicing a, a very large, um, a relatively large and, and, and rapidly growing retail franchise. Mm -hmm. um, in, in terms of the ease of business, doing business in Mozambique, um, we, we, you do have the odd anecdote of uh, coming from corporates and, and retail, mm -hmm. retail people alike who, who can generally give the impression that there are challenges of doing business in Mozambique. I think you've seen in the press mm -hmm. from time to time there, there could be the odd um, residential development which has seen challenges and then you'd see the odd investment which has seen challenges. But from our perspective, being, being at the front line, um, being, being, having key stakeholders of, of Central Bank Minister of Finance, as well as our, our, our clients, we, we, we generally like to rate ease of doing business in Mozambique fairly highly. And, and why will I say that? Um, having learned from, um, f from, from these anecdotes where, where generally process is not followed, uh, uh, problems that can be caused, we, we generally like to say to our clients, if, if you follow due process, and, and, and the law is very specific in terms of process that needs to be followed for um, investment in, in infrastructure, investment in development, investment in business, or investment in the financial markets, if the process is followed as it relates to central bank, as it relates to, to Ministry of Finance, and as it relates to other ministries, it's generally fairly easy. Um, easy not mm -hmm. can be time, yes, but it's generally easy. There's a process that involves uh, liaison with with the respective departments, and you know there's generally a, a requirement to have a written written application and a written response. So, 
I find mm-hmm. I find it, it relatively on a, a scale of one to ten the ease of doing business in Mozambique. I'm going to argue for a ten. <laughs> Indeed. Now, looking at uh, the, uh, the there's also been talks about increasing banking services uh, to the more remote areas uh, in uh, Mozambique. How active is uh, Barclays on that front, and how involved is government in making this happen? That, that, that's a, a really good question. If you do look at that that landscape of a population of of arguably around three million. Uh, 23 million, sorry, and if you look at the, that really long coastline and you, if you look at the, the centers of development, there's a fairly large portion of the population um, living in the rural areas. Okay, so, mm-hmm. so in, in terms of banking, um, banking these, uh, the, the, these, these people with, with bricks and mortar, mm-hmm. uh, in an economy like Mozambique, which comes off a really low base, it can be prohibitively expensive. So as has happened across other other African countries, um, we, we and even in South Africa, um, we're looking at uh, we're looking at cell phone banking and we're looking at mobile banking. So in, in terms of where we are as Barclays, um, we 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 we're taking it really seriously. We we have initiatives in place and we're on dis- discussions with with key players, which which will involve bringing banking to the unbanked, and and that'll be through through channels such as electronic channels, mm-hmm. and and not the bricks and mortar approach. Further down the line, I think we, with with the developments that are happening in Mozambique, um, you definitely will see a, a a broader a broader infrastructural development um, across the whole country. But for now, given given the vast expanse um, mm-hmm. and the infrastructural challenges, I think now the time is definitely right for um, uh, for electronic channels of banking, and and we've seen that, and we are we are definitely moving forward on that as Barclays. Well, David, just to wrap it up, just to talk on the interest rate environment in Mozambique, it has really been viewed as quite how your outlook on interest rates are for the rest of the year in Mozambique. Um, we, we did see some challenges on the interest rate side, and, and, and central bank monetary, monetary policy um, is, is, is geared at, at price, price stability for the most part. Um, towards the end of last year, we had a, a relatively high inflation environment. Interest rates were hiked in response to that. Um, in, if you look at the broader picture of a country which, which imports inflation, um, foreign exchange controls were tweaked to, to make sure there's a balanced, tro, balanced flow of, of capital within the economy. Um, we're now in a situation where we, we see inflation um, on a month-by-month basis um, in negative figures. We've seen um, year-on-year inflation sitting around 1.5%, average inflation for the year around 5%, definitely in, in, in an accommodative policy. Um, in reaction to this, you've seen your um, your, your monetary policy tools, the mm-hmm. T-bills, which, which are traded up to one year, mm-hmm. really sitting at, at really low levels. Um, the market is with a, a, a wash with liquidity. Um, so definitely a situation where, where you have the central bank looking um, to, to grow um, the money, uh, to grow the loans um, to, to the retail and corporate sector, and definitely looking to stimulate yeah. the economy. Th- Thanks, David. That was uh, David Creamer at Barclays Bank of Mozambique.